Muy bien, volvemos con nuestro programa especial desde Medellín, Colombia, con la develación mundial de la pickup Renault Alaskan, la eh, pickup de una tonelada que la marca francesa va a producir en la planta de Santa Isabel en Córdoba, junto con la Nissan NP300 y la pickup que va a llevar el símbolo de Mercedes-Benz. Y aquí también vamos a entrevistar a Lorenz van den Acker, quien es el diseñador mundial, responsable mundial del diseño de todos los productos de Renault y que vino también a esta develación. Bueno, queremos saber de, de esta persona eh, cuál es la diferencia entre la NP300 y esta Alaskan. Muchos hablan de que el frente es solamente lo que cambia. Eso vamos a preguntarle. Muy bien, vamos a la entrevista. Me llama la atención la parrilla, el dibujo que tiene. ¿Qué quiere transmitir con ese dibujo de parrilla tan moderno? In the in the pickup truck market, in my experience, it's really important to have a strong front end. Okay, so we made it strong through the grill, very uh, robust looking, with lots of chrome because that gives you a sensation of quality and a sensation of robustness, but to also make it high technology, high, highly technological. And this is what you see in the headlights. We have a lot of technology in the headlights, full LEDs, lighting signature. They look like they're really milled like a photo camera, so there's a lot of technology in there. And so it's a, a front end that is both very status, very robust, very modern, and also highly technological. What is the main difference from Nissan, uh, Nissan to Renault Scan? To find out what is the main difference, I rely on you guys. You know, you need to explain the difference. But what's important is that you know that we, in the alliance, we work together to be able to different, to be to differentiate ourselves. So whenever what is good for Nissan is not good for Renault and vice versa. So we have a very good relationship with Nissan Design to make sure that we differentiate the two brands. So Renault is definitely, uh, you can tell that the new pickup truck, the Alaskan, fits very well into our lineup. And the same goes for Nissan. So I think you have two good trucks. ¿Cómo define los estilos de las camionetas, de las pickups americanas, de las japonesas? Yes, I think it's a very good question. I think there's a clear difference between the Asian pickup trucks and the American. Because I think the American mid-size pickup trucks are inspired by the full-size pickup trucks. So it's, they're inspired by the F-150s, the Chevy Silverados, the, the really the big, uh, large size pickup trucks. Right. And those are very, very tough. They're extremely robust. Whereas the Asians are more car-like, I would say, in their expression. They're more on comfort, they're less aggressive, and they're more uh, really car-like, more comfortable. So there's a clear difference between the two. ¿Cuántos proyectos comenzaron para este definitivo? ¿Cuántos se descartaron? You have to imagine that at any given time in Renault Design, we have 40 to 50 projects. And every project, we have five to 10 designers working on this because the investments are so big. We need to make sure we always find the key, the best, absolute best sketch. And so sometimes it's one designer, sometimes it's another, but generally there's five to 10 designers working on every project. ¿Cómo cree que van a evolucionar en los próximos años los diseños de la Zipica? Teniendo en cuenta que a priori es un diseño muy básico. I think this is a very good question because I think of all the segments, the pickup truck segment is relatively conservative. And I think it's the customers, they like this look and this is what they want. So what I see actually is instead of an evolution in design, I see more of an evolution in a weight, how to deal with weight. You see some of the full-size trucks are already using extensively uh, aluminium. You see that also in the increased importance of uh, security and aerodynamics. You see that the trucks become a little bit lower. They have air dams on the bottom to, to help with the, uh, uh, the aerodynamics. And I think what you will see in the pickup truck world is much more emphasis on uh, connectivity, uh, and much more emphasis on screens inside of the vehicle. So it'll modernize, but maybe not so much in the silhouette, more in the substance. <laughs> Thank you.
Bueno, acabamos de escuchar a Lorenz van der Aken, quien es el director mundial de diseño de Renault y quien fue el líder de este proyecto, no solo de la Oroch, sino también de esta Alaskan que fue develada mundialmente aquí en Medellín.